Destination mark. Hey guys, how's it going? Marcelo here, and we have a whopping 30 minutes worth of new gameplay footage from Shantae and the Seven Sirens, once again courtesy of Game Explain. If you want to see the full video with sound, the link's in the description. This version of the game is for the Apple Arcade, and it gives us some more insight as to what Seven Sirens is all about. So without further ado, let's get started. So this all seems to be in the beginning of the game as we find out Shantae and her friends are on vacation on an as of now unnamed island, but it's a very special one as it sits atop an ancient sunken city, in Uncle Mimic's words. We get to see Shantae explore around and talk to some locals, as she comes across the mayor of Arena Town, who tells her about the Half Genie Festival, which the other Half Genies are performing in. He invites her to join them once she rounds them all up, which makes up a majority of the demo. We find out Harmony's the oldest of the Half Genies. In fact, she's the very first one. She explains they're the first generation, Shantae included, and they actually haven't even been around as long as one would think. We then see the zombie Half Genie, who who's still as mysterious in-game as she is on her card, giving the fake name fill in the blank, and hastily declaring that a zombie half-genie isn't suspicious right as Shantae questions it. She leaves in a rush, and her sporadic demeanor still leaves us with some burning questions. Just who is she? Is she really just Ronnie Tops in disguise and Shantae just can't tell? I'm pretty sure Shantae can't recognize Ronnie anywhere, so this could still be unlikely. It just makes the mind race when this zombie half-genie shares Ronnie's hairstyle and color palette and this zombie girl doesn't. We then see Zapple, and she explains that her magic is electricity based, if her name didn't already give it away. Shantae tells her about her transforming abilities, and Zapple asks if she can turn into anything. When Shantae comedically says, I can transform into a monkey and climb around, Zapple seems a little disappointed, and I don't know if it's just me, but the way this exchange plays out, with Zapple's big expectations of her abilities, and Shantae meekly stating she'll just leave when her description doesn't sound exciting enough, I feel like maybe Shantae's transformations will have a much bigger bearing on the plot this time around. It actually kind of supports my wild theory in my last Shantae coverage video about the fusion transformation. Transformations. Seems like Shantae may just have much more power behind her transformations than even she knows, and maybe we'll get to see just how powerful she can become once we get to play the game. Shantae then meets up with Vera, who we find out lives on this island and possesses refresh magic, which could be a kind of healing magic, supporting the theory that her name derives from the aloe vera plant. Lastly, we see Plink, who immediately sets off some interesting vibes when she mistakes Shantae for Vera, stating that she senses something odd on the island. Plink's a seer, being able to see the invisible world that others cannot, perhaps meaning some kind of spirit world. After this, we get to see the Havjini Festival, and this cutscene looks fantastic. The colors, the animation, the characters' looks. I'm glad we get to see a few cutscenes in this demo, and they make me hyped to see the rest of them in the final game. Anyway, the lights go out, and the Havjinis are kidnapped, leaving Shantae alone on stage. Upon some investigation, we see Risky Boots is up to her old tricks, planning to detonate some explosives on an entrance to the sunken city. Once she does so and hops in, Shantae follows, and after meeting back up with Uncle Mimic, who wants to see the tour that keeps getting advertised throughout the town, the floor beneath Shantae gives way, sending her fall into a deeper part of the city. And finally, after some more traveling, we see the Water Lily's Den, which is where the previous footage starts off. I am loving the direction this game's taking so far, from the beautifully animated cutscenes, which I wish were a bit longer, to the new characters, to the open exploration, to the new enemies like this buff guy with a fish head and this little tree dude. I'm more on board for Seven Sirens than I ever was before. Even though the 2.5D look of Half Genie Hero is gone, this art style is still looking clean, and I'm digging in a lot. There's still more to be seen and still more questions to be answered, so let's see what the next big reveal will bring us. Until then, part one of Seven Sirens, aka this very demo, is actually available now in the Apple Arcade. This is late news and editing at the last minute, but if there's a way for you to access Apple Arcade, try the demo and see how fantastic it is. So what are your thoughts on the footage? Are you hyped for Shantae and the Seven Sirens? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm Marcelo, I'll see you guys later, and take care.